We have a chance here, the 38 minute water start, this has been to the game, it's Danny Ings who plays in a wonderful ball to Chiku Kuyate who finesses the ball into the bottom right corner, what a goal that was from Chiku Kuyate, fantastic football from Derby County. Hey what's up guys, it's S2G and welcome to another episode of my Derby County Criminal Series and in today's episode we have games against Sunderland, Ghent and Spurs so we have three good games in this episode and the game against Ghent is going to be very important because well we're not doing that well in the Europa League so we need to win that game and also there will be a squad report at the end of this episode but for now we have a game against Sunderland in the Premier League and we want to keep our good form going so I really want to win this game and I've chosen a very strong lineup for this one and also guys if this video could reach 20 likes it would be amazing I would really appreciate it and now we are playing away from home at the Stadium of Light against Sunderland let's see what happens we do have the first chance of this game the ball is with Victor Maltz he fakes past the defender he puts a great cross in but it falls to Adama Traore Adama is still with the ball it's still Adama who plays it down to Kieran Trippier who crosses the ball into Chika Kuyate whose header goes above the crossbar a very good chance from Derby County and we could have got a goal from there but anyways now they have a chance here the ball is with Watmore it's still Watmore now the number 41 puts in a good cross to Jermaine Defoe but the ball is somehow cleared by our defenders and now finally we have a very good chance here the ball is with Musa Sissoko he spots the run of Adam Traore Adam Traore is through on goal and he scores what a goal that was from Adam Traore in the 55th minute of this game great ball in from Musa Sissoko it took us a lot of time to get a clear cut opportunity and when we got it Adam Traore buried it home what a goal that was from Adam Traore and that is third goal in the Premier League and that's basically the end of this game we have beaten Sunderland comfortably exact not exactly comfortably because well it was a tough game but really we had that one chance they didn't have too many chances and we just won it and now we have a game against Ghent and as you can see the league, a Europa League table right here we're in second place with six points also Panathinaikos are in third place with six points as well so we need to win this game uh, to keep our Europa League dreams alive so we are playing away from home again and the worst part is it is snowy conditions so I'm not good at playing in snow and I'm sure you guys might not be as well because it's much tougher you can't see the ball and all that but we're playing away from home so we need to be prepared as you can see it's Will Hughes with the ball it's still Hughes now who plays it down to Bennett Bennett plays it back to Hughes Hughes stops and waits for Jordan Ibe's run he spots it Jordan Ibe is through on goal he takes a shot but the keeper makes a pretty good save and that means the score is still nil nil but now in the 15th minutes we have a chance the ball is with Hesse Lingard it's still Lingard with the ball it's still Lingard can he get, to get a shot off he gets a shot off but the keeper makes a very good save 16 minutes gone it's still nil nil but now they have a chance here from a corner the ball is put in a great corner that is but what a save that was from Kelly Roos the header was so good but a great save from Roos now they have another chance here the ball is now with uh, uh, Ghent I think yeah that's what it is and they take a shot it's Raman who takes the shot but Kelly Roos makes another great save that was just Wow, he's been in great form up till now. But anyways, now Mason Bennett goes past the defenders. And now he has a great chance to score. But that was such a poor shot. And also, I'm giving Kelly Roos a chance after a long time. But in that case, he didn't do anything here right now. He just gave away the ball and shot and couldn't get the clearance well off. And they had a chance to score. But they, and they fortunately for us, they hit the crossbar. But now we have a chance here in the 45th minute to get a goal before halftime. It's Jordan Ibe who shoots, but... That was such an awful shot. I could have betted my house on that one for him to score. That's his current form. He's been so amazing currently. So I'm really uh, surprised that he missed that one. But anyways, now they have a chance here in the 62nd minute. The ball is now with Drummond who slides in to get a shot off. But the ball falls to another against player. Takes the header and scores. It's then number 12. But anyways, now we have a chance here. We need to get at least to draw if you have any chance of progressing to the next round of the Europa League. And Thomas Ince does that. What a goal that was from Thomas Ince to get us back into this game. An insane goal from Thomas Ince. What a strike that was. He doesn't play that much for me now, but that was such a good goal. But now we have another chance here. It's Thomas Ince again. Can he be the hero? Can he score this one? But unfortunately, the keeper made a very good save. That means at the end of this game it still remains nil 1-1 but we still have one last chance here Thomas Ince whips the ball and the ball falls to Bryson who tries to finesse it into the back of the net but why couldn't he score that one that would have definitely guaranteed our next you know a spot in the next round of the Europa League oh my god that was such an insane game but we could only come with a draw and as you can see the Europa League group stage table right now we're in second place with seven points so are Panathinaikos that means the game the last game which is against go ahead Eagles I think will be so crucial we need to win that game 
to get into the next round of the Europa League. And now we have a game against Tottenham Spur Hot Spurs against Spurs, basically. It's going to be a tough game against them. They're a great side and they're in third position in the league. I'll show you guys the league table in a moment. But now, as you can see, we are playing against Spurs at home. And I'm not that confident for this game because they're in third, as I said. But if we could win this game, we'll actually go in third and they will go down to fourth, which is amazing. I have a look at the league table right now. Uh, Tottenham are in third place with 29 points and we are in fourth place with 28 so it's so close right here but now we have the first chance of this game in the 17th minute as the ball is with Victor Moses who plays it down to Danny Ings it's still Danny Ings he goes past Fazio like he wasn't there he takes a shot and he scores what a goal that was from Danny Ings what a start it is to this game and Danny Ings finally is getting you know on the score sheet and all more often than he was usually usually he just got assists and all that but now he's getting goals for himself as well which is really awesome. That's his fifth goal in the Barclays Premier League. But now in the 34th minute, they have a chance. They want to get back straight into the game as they take a shot. But it goes just right. I think that was Harry Kane. No, no, it was actually Lamella who take, took the shot. But anyways, now instead, Di Roberto with the ball using the skills. He's our highest rated player in the game currently. And he takes the shot, but the keeper makes a very good save. Sergi Roberto is now an 80 rated player. She gets the squad report later on for details. But, anyways, now Sergi Roberto gives away a penalty just before half time. It can't get any worse than that. It's going to be Harry Kane to take it. Harry Kane doesn't miss the chances, and he scores. That was such an amazing penalty from him right into the top left corner and that means now Spurs are back into this game and the score is 1-0 but now we have a chance here it's Ince with the ball who plays it down to uh, Sissoko who plays it back to Ings who takes the shot and he gets fouled and that means we get a penalty and a chance for Danny Ings to get a goal for himself and also put us into the lead come on Danny Ings can you score this one yes he can what a penalty that was from Danny Ings he gets us the crucial goal against Spurs if we win this game we'll be in such a good position in the league guys it's just amazing, just three seasons in, we're already contending for a top four spot. But anyways, we're in the 75th minute, we had a chance to seal the game, but Victor Moses' finished shot is saved by the keeper. And that's basically the end of this game. We have beaten Spurs, it's such an amazing result. And now it's time for a squad report. As you can see, Jack Butland isn't going that much, he's gone, not grown at all, disappointing. Uh, Kieran Trippier is going down in a few stats, which is really weird. Baker has gone up by one, he's now a 76 rated player, which is insane. Kurt Zuma is now gone up by two, 78 rated player, he's a beast guys, one of my best signings. Tyron Mings has now a 72 rated player, he was actually that only. And anyway, Sergio Roberto is now an 80 rated player, as I said, but he's only on loan, which is disappointing. Chiku Kuyate is now a 77 rated player. Musa Sissoko is now a 79 rated player. A lot of players are growing, which is amazing. Adam Atraore is now a 76 rated player. He gets a lot of crucial goals for us, which is obviously good to see. Danny Ings is now a 79 rated player. He's just growing a lot and his value is now 9 million, which is amazing. Victor Moses is also now a 77 rated player. The best part is we got him for completely free. Also, Kelly Roos has now gone up by one. He's now a 62 rated player. Edgar Yeh has gone up by two. He's now 71. He's growing a lot for us, which is amazing. And we got him for so less, such a less amount. And now he's going, gone up to a 71 rated player. Will Hughes is now a 75 rated player. Definitely one for the future. Sergio Nabre is still a 72 rated player. And he's going down in a few stats, which is disappointing. That's probably because of his injury. But he'll be back in three weeks. And we'll have our full squad by then, which is amazing. And Jordan Ibe hasn't grown that much. He's now a 72 rated player. Mason Bennett is still 70. He, he's grown a lot, guys. He started on 62, I guess. And anyways, Bryson isn't growing, which is disappointing. He was one of the players that was so crucial in getting us into this into the into the Premier League. But anyways, Robert Tilke and Scott Souza are growing well, but they will probably be sold because I definitely can't use players with such physical stats. Hesse Lingard is now a 74 rated player which is better than ever. Cyrus Christie is 70 rated. He hasn't grown that much. Thomas Ince is growing in a few stats, which is obviously in his mental, but he's going down in his physical stats. Luke Garbutt isn't growing at all. That means we might need to be looking for a new left back. Ryan Shorten hasn't grown. And that's basically it for the squad report. I'll be showing you guys the league table and the calendar in a moment. First, I'll show you guys the league table. As you can see, we are in third place with 31 points and a goal difference of 10, which is great. But the other teams have scored much more goals than us, so we need to be improving our goal tally. But that doesn't matter really. It's all the points that matters. We're in third place with 31 points. And we are, I think, six points above the Champions League spots, which is amazing. I mean, we are just six points separates us and fifth position, which is amazing. In the next episode, we'll have games against Burnley, Millsborough, and go ahead, Eagles. Apart from that, that's basically the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys next time.